Uh, this piece is titled Bumpin' Down Sunset, 2011. Uh, it was a commission by uh, Dr. Sharon Sakan. Um, it's a depiction of uh, their Invoca, is that what it's called? Uh, their little car, isn't it? What's it say there? Something like that. It's, it's their big red car they have at home. Um, it's a convertible, it's an old model, and it's uh, Bob's car, Sharon's car. And these are the, the kids at home, in the car, in the bumper, inside. And this is going down Sunset Boulevard in Echo Park, Silver Lake. And then you see this, uh, I, I redid this from a wall that's down there, where it talks about the Dodgers, we're all something blue, you know, the, the ball, yeah, yeah. and Al A. And um, it's funny, what I did is I took it from the center here, and I warped the car from the back to face you three-quarter and I faced again I, I did the front to face you in a three-quarter manner also. Please pause and locate the next piece. They are ordered numerically. This uh, small piece here is a pastel on paper. Uh, I whipped these out in, oh I don't know, a few minutes. They are again with pastel on black paper. I um, did this whole th idea here based upon Tonantzin, uh, La Virgen de Guadalupe, Mother Earth, mm -hmm. and this one's titled Tonantzin con Rosas. There are roses around this woman who's squatted down, she's sitting down on her legs, and then around her, and she's a green woman, and they all, they all look different, they all don't look the same. Mm -hmm. And then there's the spiraling sky, this idea of spirits looking in on her, and I did this to, t to talk about the idea that this, this, she's inside her circle. You see, she's sitting within a circle. Yeah. And right before Tonantzin became La Virgen de Guadalupe, she was getting the roses ready. So that when she saw Juan Diego, and then she knew it was going to turn out that... Well, I made that story up that she would eventually give Juan Diego the roses to show to the priest. Then the priest would go, oh my! There's a deity amongst us. And then they titled her the Virgen de Guadalupe. But again, here I use uh, an interesting uh, metaphor here, which is a red cloud, which is actually um, one of the chiefs from uh, one of the tribes here in the United States. And his name was Red Cloud. And so I've decided to put a red cloud in some of the compositions that I do. Please pause and locate the next piece. Ten flower. Uh, this is a acrylic on canvas piece. Um, I was inspired by the theater again. Yeah, I can see uh, the curtains. Yes, Matlakli, which means ten. Shoshito is flower. Uh, 2004 acrylic on canvas. Um, again, I just wanted to show these. I, I don't know, I was thinking of someone bringing in a prop. Mm -hmm. On one side, which is a flower, ten flower, and then on this other side was uh, 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 Miklan, or actually it was uh, Mitzli. It's a it's a skull face, and then on here it's a woman's hand, and here's a man's hand, and then here's that stage again, or is it the play at hand that you're seeing? Please pause and locate the next piece. They are ordered numerically. Uh, the title of this piece here is titled. Cali Corazón, and it uh, pertains to uh, the Día de los Muertos, the idea of uh, Miglán Tecutli, uh, uh, Mitzli, and Topan, life and death, death and life. And it's also, again, it's like a play at hand in which you see the curtains and people or duality looking into life or the other extreme of life. and. It's like life, uh, uh, the next life, and then the next life. And what you have in the background is uh, beyond these skulls here are images of uh, ancient Mexico from the Aztec calendar. And this symbol back here is a house symbol. And then you have palm trees, a fake Van Gogh sky, and then you have um, a little hummingbird, and the hummingbird indicates death, which is actually 
Huitzilipochtli, the ancient uh, Aztec deity of, uh, of war. Because uh, if a warrior was as fast as a hummingbird, he would have uh, mighty spirits following him. And then you have, uh, there was a little trick on the flower thing here because it seems like all these other skulls are men. And with this flower here and this little lip look right there, it's kind oh, of like yeah. womanish, feminine. Yeah. And um, Cali Corazon. Cali is this idea here and Corazon is basically the, the idea of life. And it's right here, the Corazon. Please pause and locate the next piece. This is uh, a passed out on paper piece. It's titled Along First Street. I did it back in uh, 2008. This again is a composition dealing with a cityscape. And in the cityscape, again, I have um, City Hall, the, uh, the Flower Mart, and uh, Little Tokyo, uh, Senor Fish, the food place. The food place, yes. And then Art Peace Park. Your idea. On a young person on top of a giant skateboard uh -huh. rolling along Art Peace Park. And then underneath the composition is the red line. That's the, now the rail system that runs along the bottom of Los Angeles. And then uh, one of my gatitas. And then uh, along First Street, you see some of these images. And so uh, here's that uh, sheriff's badge flower with the, the justice, which is upside down. Yeah. Then the flower mart. And these look like palm trees, but they're actually these flower blooms that I saw at the flower mart. And they have many of those. And then uh, this used to be the wooden tower. Now it's all made out of metal because, hey, the wood had rot rotted away, but it's been there so long. Then I redesigned the logo for a senor fish and put a different fish and a different sombrero and actually I didn't put a mustache on it which is cool and then uh, Art Peace Park and then Art Peace Park is part of biking and here's a woman biker mm -hmm. biking across First Street and then this is where the goal line funny thing 2008 the goal line wasn't in yet mm. yes and so I already had it working electrical charges flying from its antenna and then flying over here to East LA, and then these symbols of these um, silhouettes looking toward the west. Is that a, pointing at something? And a hand pointing oh, okay. toward the west, and the west pointing toward the east. And then on this side, you also have silhouettes of people looking to the east and the west. And then here I have again some of the uh, chemical trails yeah. in the skies, in my fake Van Gogh skies. And then there's a spiral. And the spiral also, which is also... Kind of looks like a sun, but a black sun. <laughs> it does, huh? Yeah. It does. Mm -hmm. Please pause and locate the next piece. This piece is titled Bok Tapok, the Cosmic Ball Game. Um, years ago, when I started finding out about the Aztec calendar and realizing that in the Aztec calendar, the 20-day count yeah. um, uh, glyphs were part of the ancient ball game, um, which I found books were based on it and the writers wrote about that. Uh, the writers never really wrote as how the ball game starts, but they had ideas about it and then there's lots of information about how they're built. So when you talk about ball game, you're, talk you're referring to? Uh, Ulama, it's known as, and uh, each of the sites in uh, Mexico, in Guatemala, and even in Arizona, there is a ball game. Uh, court there oh, okay. and each of the templo areas in Mexico especially you'll find a ball court oh, okay. and the ball courts were meant to who knows uh, talk about politics talk about right and wrong uh, they were religious they oh, okay. were sacred and so I found Pocta Poc one day and uh, down here at the bottom of this composition in which I have two of these palm trees. These palm trees are part of a series I did uh, about Olvera Street. There are two palm trees in the middle of Olvera Street. Oh, okay. And so what I decided to do here was uh, put the candles, the candle shop, oh, okay. here at the bottom. And then uh, within this area here is the ball court. 
some of the templates that they would use, the ball itself, uh, or right here, uh, they would paint a skull face on it. Not a face, but a skull. Uh -huh. And these players here are, uh, could not touch the ball with their hands, just like modern day football, yeah. soccer. soccer. And uh, we know how popular it is. And um, then these spirals are other universes, and here are some of the symbols that are part of the Aztec calendar. I've incorporated it here, and these players are playing away like crazy, you know, because it's part of their game. Yeah. And then the sky turns into an ocean with fish, or the fish turn into ducks, and then it turns into the river, then it turns into my gatita. The Alley River. Yeah, the Alley River. And then above that, on the utility road, um, I saw a movie, and I liked it a lot, and I thought of the images, and I said, this is cool, it looks like these these animals and this person are walking along this giant nude woman here mm -hmm. with a pair of gloves is looking on but it's actually from a scene or scenes that I saw in a movie back from the 90s uh, uh, titled Blade Runner please pause and locate the next piece and this uh, now is a uh, model of Art Piece Park I uh, came up with this idea when I just got frustrated of hearing about young people being arrested for tagging and then some of them not tagging but actually expressing themselves with images and here it's a circular wall somewhere along the um, uh, uh, river uh, revitalization plan in which a plot of land, a circular wall a building would be built and then this facility here would suffice as to whoever's district it would be in to be a place for democracy where citizenship classes, language classes, voting and other various things and arts could be taught and shown to the public and it would be taken care of by the district person's um, deputies two of them. One would take care of the, the grounds and the other person would take care of a calendar mm. so that it would continue to flow. The outside of this idea, the wall here, circular wall, it's the circle. Uh, it would have entrances, maybe four entrances or two entrances. And this wall out here would suffice as a sunrise, sunset uh, graffiti wall. Oh, okay. So anybody uh, can come in and spray. Anyone would be able to come in and spray the walls at well, any time if they find a, a wall that they can use and no one's there, they can create something on there. We would have, uh, I mean, I, my suggestion would be six themes a year, mm -hmm. and in that's you know twelve months out of the year, six themes. So you have it for like two months. Uh, fish, trees, hands, feet, noses, eyes, or whatever you want to choose. Democracy, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, it doesn't matter. You just choose and then put it out there and say, hey, how would you write that if you could write it? Yeah. How would you Express. illustrate it if you could illustrate it? Thank you for joining us to experience Los Angeles Loves Leo Limon. If you like what you've seen at the Studio for Southern California History, please consider becoming a member by asking a staff member or visiting www.socalstudio.org.